According to a recent study, batteries commonly used in mobile phones, electric cars, and modern gadgets are reportedly releasing toxic forever chemicals into the environment. Researchers in the United States have identified that rechargeable lithium-ion batteries leak harmful substances known as PFAS during both production and disposal processes. One specific chemical of concern is bisperfluoroalkyl sulfonamide or bisphasi, which, despite being unregulated currently, has been found to possess toxicity levels comparable to notorious chemicals such as PFOA, which are found in pesticides, waterproof coatings, and specific types of paint. PFAS are dumped forever chemicals due to their persistent nature in the environment and human body, remaining present indefinitely once they enter the system. This discovery highlights growing environmental and health concerns associated with the widespread use and disposal of lithium-ion batteries. PFAS chemicals, known for their persistence and potential health risks, have been associated with serious conditions such as cancer, high cholesterol, reduced kidney function, thyroid disorders, infertility, compromised immune function, and low birth weight in infants. Concerns also extend through their potential impacts on growth, learning, and behavioral development in children. Previously detected in food supplies due to pesticide use, PFAS chemicals have now been found to be released into the environment from lithium-ion batteries widely used in electric vehicles, medical devices, laptops, and other electronics crucial to clean energy infrastructure. Despite their environmental benefits, these batteries are only usable for a limited time before needing replacement. Current recycling rates for lithium-ion batteries are low, with only 5% being recycled. Studies project that up to 8 million tons of these batteries could end up in landfills by 2040, posing significant environmental challenges. Researchers from universities in Texas and North Carolina conducted a comprehensive study analyzing samples from 87 locations worldwide, including surface water, tap water, groundwater, snow, sediment, and soil in countries like Belgium and France. The data indicates that air emissions of bisphasi may contribute to its long-range transport, potentially affecting areas distant from manufacturing facilities. Professor Jennifer Guelfo from Texas Tech University emphasized the environmental challenges associated with the production, disposal, and recycling of clean energy infrastructure. While reducing CO2 emissions through innovations like electric cars is crucial, she noted, we must address the unintended consequence of increasing PFAS pollution. We need technologies, stringent manufacturing controls, and effective recycling solutions that combat the climate crisis without releasing persistent pollutants. Analysis conducted at several municipal landfill sites in the U.S. revealed significant concentration of this FASI, suggesting that these compounds enter the environment through the disposal of products containing lithium-ion batteries. Toxicity tests highlighted that concentrations of bisphasi found in these environments pose a serious threat to aquatic life, although its impact on humans remains understudied compared to other well-researched PFAS. Further testing demonstrated that bisphasi doesn't easily degrade under oxidation, indicating its potential to persist indefinitely in the environment. However, Researchers found that treatment methods such as granular activated carbon and ion exchange can effectively reduce bisphasi concentrations in water. The study revealed that bisphasi is utilized in the electrolytes and binders of lithium-ion batteries, distinguishing it from other chemicals used in these batteries that don't fall under the PFAS category. Join our vibrant community and be in the know by subscribing to our channel for the latest news and captivating content. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay tuned to all the excitement unfolding. Don't miss out on becoming a part of our ever-growing family of informed and engaged.